go to space, they said. It'll be fun! <sighs> now humanity is staring down the barrel of a loaded gun, with no one but ourselves to blame. The thing about space is that it's bigger than us. A lot bigger. There are things out there we can't even dream of. And as it turns out, not all of them are nice. When we found a way to travel through the stars, we were so excited to get out there and discover it all. Teams of scientists and military soldiers were sent out to every... Military blaster, huh? Wonder how I got here. I'm not about to turn down a stroke of luck, though. I'm sure they have security doors set up. I should be able to get past them with this. Good. I was getting a bit worried there wouldn't be any friendly faces left. Glad to see I was wrong. What's going on here, soldier? My team lost control of the ship as we entered orbit and... Whoa! So much for a warm reception. <laughs> oh, thank God you showed up. He was about to...
Whoa, 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 hold on! I'm friendly, I swear! You better start talking then. What the hell is going on here? Why did this soldier attack me? Isn't he supposed to be one of us? It's a bit of a long story. <laughs> Look, can you stop pointing that thing at me? I'm not even armed. I'll explain everything. Fine, but keep your distance. And don't try anything funny. Phew, thanks. The soldier you just took down was one of ours. Emphasis on the was. I don't really have a head for this kind of stuff, but from what the scientist told me, something about this planet's atmosphere messes with your mind. Makes you go all sorts of crazy. Right. What's your story then? Why should I believe you're not just trying to get me to drop my guard? Well, that guy you fought didn't seem particularly talkative, did he? They don't seem to speak anymore once they go insane. Anyway, like I said, it's the atmosphere. We have air filtration here at the camp. Seems to keep the effects at bay. Um, mostly. Mostly? Well, uh, in addition to increased aggression, there's also other side effects. Namely, dramatically increased libido and lustfulness. You're joking, right? I'm being pranked right now. That's the only explanation. Believe me or not, that's your call. You'll see it yourself before long. All right, so assuming I even believe you, there's still about a thousand missing pieces here. Where is everyone else? I haven't been here long, but so far you and this soldier are the only people I've seen. And after what you just told me, I'm not confident you're any less crazy than he was. Our ship crashed, and I have no clue if anyone else survived it. But if they did, it doesn't seem like they made their way here. Is this the only encampment? There are more, but I couldn't tell you what kind of state they're in now. I haven't been able to contact anybody else for a while now. Most of the people stationed here have either gone missing or gone insane. It starts off slow. You only really notice the increased desires, shall we say. The point where you lose control comes out of nowhere. We didn't start seeing it until months into our research. By then, it was too late. A lot of people were already overexposed, and most of our tech was destroyed in the fights with them. At this point, the only ones left are me and a scientist named Birch. He went out to try and find something for some project he's working on. Come to think of it, he should have been back by now. This is the part where you asked me to go out and find him, right? Why didn't you go with him in the first place? I tried, but he insisted on me staying behind. We can't risk losing this base, or it'd only be a matter of time before we went insane too. A lot of good I did stopping that soldier there. <laughs> you seem to be a lot more capable than I am, though. And I'm really worried about Birch. I'm pretty sure we're not going to figure this out without him. Fair enough, then. I'll see if I can find him. Before you head out, take this. Your hairband is a mod strap, right? This is a communications chip. Slot it in there, and it'll let us keep in contact while you're gone. And hey, thanks again for the save. Um... Uh... Alicia. And you're welcome. Neglected to mention even the weeds here are painful. Ah, uh, sorry about that. We call those thorn weeds, a little pricks. They're not too bad on their own, but they grow basically everywhere, at least in the caves, so keep an eye out. Fantastic.
Yes, yes, what is it? Can't you see I'm busy here? Nice to meet you, too. I'm guessing you're Birch. Oh, my apologies. I'm afraid I tend to get a bit over-focused when I'm working. Who are you, exactly? Name's Alicia. I'm part of the rescue team sent from Earth. Our ship crashed on entry, and your friend was the first person I found here. He asked me to find you. Friend? No, no, I don't have any of those. You must be looking for someone else. Ah. Unless you're talking about Rodriguez. Yes, that would make sense. He was never great with social cues. I could see him referring to us as friends. <laughs> so that's his name. I take it you're not a fan? Of course not. Do I look like a... You were referring to my opinion of him, weren't you? He's a fine co-worker. I simply don't have time for contemporary friendships. Too much work to be done, yes? Speaking of which, come, come. Look at this. I was able to fix this pad here. Ah, the convenience they provide. We placed them all over the planet, but most of them were disabled a while ago. How that happened is anyone's guess. Here, see this button at the bottom? Simply press it in to reset the system, and voila! Instant teleportation between pads. That's... pretty incredible, actually. Is the one at camp active already? Rodriguez seems pretty worried about you. Might be a good idea to check up on him. Ah, he was always one to worry over nothing. Well, I'd better get back then, though I suppose thanks are in order for finding me. <laughs> You've got an interesting concept of what makes for a good thank you. <laughs> <laughs>